China's capital of Beijing hosts a nuclear conference by the five permanent members of the UN Security Council. Nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation, as well as the peaceful use of nuclear energy, are high on the agenda of the conference. From Russia, Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov is in attendance. He warned that the level of potential conflict in the world has reached a dangerous point. Ryabkov criticized some countries for attempting to steer up the nuclear non-proliferation regime, a situation he said may leave very serious consequences, he expressed concerns that such developments are taking place due to what he described as a lack of trust between nuclear powers. To uh, tell us more about uh, that uh, conference, I'm joined uh, by our man in Beijing, Stephen Ribe, who is about to tell us more on that. Stephen, over to you. Um, what we've been hearing is uh, the nuclear disagreements between Russia and uh, the USA, which are, are, are the two great nuclear powers. But we mustn't forget that the, uh, the discussion of this conference or the subject is actually the Non-Proliferation Treaty, which is more about preventing non-nuclear powers from getting nuclear weapons in the first place. Uh, I've been speaking to guys from the Foreign Ministry here and other foreign policy advisors and what they are admitting is there's not enough attention being paid to the NPT's other two goals. Um, the first one, of course, is to prevent non-proliferation, but the other two are disarmament by already existing nuclear powers and a guarantee to non-nuclear powers that they will have the right to a peaceful civilian program. That's the first thing they're saying. Um, to me, so not, there's not enough discussion about how we're going to allow non-nuclear powers who are party to the NPT to have their own right to develop civilian nuclear power. The other thing they're saying, um, which is very interesting, is they're saying that the goals to non-proliferation at the moment are not technical, um, so you would expect them to sit around and talk about, you know, the technicalities, the, the kind of logistics, you know, uh, getting weapons inspectors in and so forth. The, goals to non the, the obstacles to non-proliferation are not technical. This is what the foreign policy advisors I'm talking to are saying. They're saying they're political. Now, that's a very indirect kind of Chinese way. Chinese will never give you a straight answer to a question. Um, that might be because they're being diplomatic. It might be just because they're just being Chinese. But that's their indirect way of saying that you, the obstacles to non-proliferation are the behavior of America. We've had two... Um, big events in non-proliferation over the past uh, decade. The first is the acquisition of uh, an IC, a nuclear ICBM by North Korea, which is a spectacular demonstration of why a small power under constant threat of attack by a much stronger country might want to get a nuclear weapon in the first place. Yeah, It's got one, and now America, Donald Trump's doing his best to completely reverse America's policy of hostility and regime change that it's been trying to execute on North Korea over the past decade. The second um, major development in non-proliferation has, of course, been the Iran nuclear deal, which America has never honored and, and wishes to tear up now. So that's what the Chinese people say, or the Chinese foreign policy advisors I'm talking to say, when they say the main obstacles to non-proliferation are not technical, but political. Thank you very much. That's Stephen Riebe, our correspondent in Beijing.